Connecticut Voice Out Loud is proudly sponsored by Middlesex Health, Foxwoods Resort Casino, and Saybrook and Marina Spa. Welcome to Connecticut Voice Out Loud, the first TV show in the state sharing stories from some of the most inspiring people in the LGBTQ community and beyond. I'm your host, Hilary Russo. Each episode will focus on everything from travel and trends, arts and culture, health and wellness, and so much more in the spirit of pride from the people who live proud. Our first story takes us to an unlikely place when you think about the symphony. But if you know Carolyn Kwan, you know she's anything but ordinary. Ashley Cole caught up with the edgy Hartford Symphony conductor who shares more about embracing herself and her passion for music. So Carolyn, we got you out of the theater space, out of the performance venue. We want to find out who you are at your core, a little yeah. more about you. Yeah. I'm a very private person, surprisingly. You know, as an artist, you think about, you can't help but to let the world affect you. Mm -hmm. And you try to think about what can you do to help? What can you do to make a difference somehow? And so our 1920 season, when we were thinking about it, I wanted to be about joy. Because, you know, there is so much negativity in the world right now. I just want people to be able to come to the symphony and be able to, for the two hours that you're with us, just forget that for a minute. This, you know, I want the Harper Symphony to be a, I have a hard time saying this word, oasis, mm -hmm. oasis. Perfect, oasis. <laughs> oasis. And yep. uh, where people can just be and come and enjoy the joy of music. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and it doesn't matter who sits next to you. It could be someone who's completely different. It could be someone who believes in completely different thing. It doesn't matter, but mm -hmm. no matter how different we are, we can all sit in that room, sitting next to each other and enjoy the joy of music for two hours. And that we really have, sometimes we do, people don't realize we have more in common than we have that are things that are different. You know, I often think that if more people listen to music, the world will be a better place because at least we're sending more positivity in the world as opposed to negativity. As a child, I've always been that child that my, my parents are so smart. They know that if they want me to go east, they have to tell me to go west. A little rebellious. Right, exactly. Very rebellious. Yeah. I think I started, a, I don't know if I, I might have mentioned this once in a while, not very often, but as a child, I think it was third grade, I literally started a bad girls club or something. You know, it's just this idea that I don't want to be told what to do. Like the way where we are, I mean, people often talk about going to different countries, seeing different places and having different experiences. And for me, that's what music is about. It's about new emotions, new experiences, you know, taking, allowing yourself to go to places and trying new things that you never thought you might like. And, you know, the, the one big thing I often, I often tell people is, you know, people expect to go to a concert and they, they worry that they're not going to like something. And my response is always, it's great if you don't like something. It's wonderful because you've experienced it and you can talk about why you like it and why you don't like it. So I think it's just the idea that I would like to, in my small way, try to make a difference somehow. At the moment, it's through music. Mm -hmm. It's hopefully, you know, sharing music with young people, you know, given that, them that option of appreciating music, having, learning how to have joy in their lives through music. Um, I don't know what it will always be. I mean, there's certainly a lot of things in the world that needs us, you know. Oftentimes I feel like maybe I, I should spend more time working for LGBTQIA rights. You know, we have a lot of friends who are uh, in the transgender community mm -hmm. and they have such a hard time right now. You know, it's, the world seems to be changing for the better, but not, for, but not well, fast enough. Yeah. And sometimes it feels like you take one step forward and take two steps back. And, you know, that being immigrant, being foreign, and this constant attack on honesty, morality, you know, you just feel like, God, you know, should I be spending my time doing something else that can make more of a difference? 
You wow. are. You are. You are. You're, you've already left a legacy. That's so beautiful. It's been so nice, Thank wonderful you. talking to you. <laughs> really. I just, you're amazing. Thank you. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. At Middlesex Health, we're doing more to make healthcare better for you, with more personal attention to get you back to your best, and more of today's most innovative, life-saving treatments. We're bringing more second chances to communities throughout Central Connecticut and the shoreline, and finding more ways to treat every member of your family like a member of ours. Together, it all adds up to the new Middlesex Health, today's smarter choice for care. Foxwoods Resort Casino. Room starting at $89. Connecticut's newest sensation is CT Voice, giving a voice to the LGBTQ community with CT Voice magazine, digital, social, and now CT Voice Out Loud television show. This is style, hot topics, and personal stories from award-winning writers every season. Go to ctvoice.com. Come for the sunset and stay for the sunrise. Experience the best in waterfront tranquility at Saybrook Point Inn, Marina and Spa. Enjoy water views, luxurious accommodations, and outdoor dining with a marina view. Join us on the terrace for live summer music or spend the day pampering yourself at our full service spa. Check out midweek special packages at saybrook.com and book now. Saybrook Point Inn, your place for rest and relaxation. Your seaside staycation awaits. As Connecticut's first Mayo Clinic Care Network member, we're bringing the world's most advanced treatments, knowledge, and research much closer to home for you. Middlesex Health, the smarter choice for care. Welcome back to Connecticut Voice Out Loud. When it comes to beauty, Will Dowdy is no stranger to hair and makeup. But even with his incredible resume of work, there's more to this warrior of wigs and master of makeup. Sarah Lemire caught up with the designer in Bridgeport, where the true transformation of Will Beauty happens for a day in the life of drag. So Will, talk to me about how you got your start doing Will Beauty. Yeah, so um, I've worked as a makeup artist and wig designer around Connecticut and New York um, pretty much since I graduated college. I did a lot of theater, um, a lot of performing in high school and college, and I've always loved makeup and beauty and hair and stuff like that. Um, so while I was in college, I was doing productions and I started watching the show RuPaul's Drag Race. And that really sparked my interest in drag and I started exploring that. So once I graduated college, I um, interned at the Juilliard School for wigs and makeup, um, one of their two interns, among many other uh, backstage internships that they do. So I was really able to explore wigs in a theatrical aspect. I didn't think it was gonna go anywhere. I listed a couple of wigs um, and people started placing their orders and I went from having maybe one or two orders per week to one or two orders a day and now I get, you know, over a hundred orders a month. I've shipped wigs to Tokyo and to Saudi Arabia. I've shipped wigs to like really remote islands off of New Zealand. So I really don't get to see a lot of my clientele face to face. I interact with a lot of them through Instagram and they'll tag me in their photos when they're wearing my wigs or they'll message me with their photos or just say, oh, it was such a great wig. I've always loved social media and I attribute that to so much of my success with my business. I started on YouTube um, doing makeup tutorials on just different makeup looks and then that sort of evolved with me. I started doing the makeup before I even really started doing the drag. So I was just putting makeup on and showing people different tips and tricks I was learning along the way, very much like a DIY kind of setting. And then as I started doing drag, I started doing tutorials on how to do drag. And then that slowly all evolved. Now I do tutorials on drag wigs, how to style my wigs, how to style other wigs, um, how to put yourself in drag, certain really specific things like covering your eyebrows and how to do eyeshadow and stuff like that. From beginning to end, mm -hmm. it looks like the transformation must probably take hours. It takes a long time and it, it really takes a long time at first while you're discovering your look and your face because 
the style of makeup, you're really transforming your face. You're like changing the structure and you're highlighting and contouring and you're like maybe hiding your jawline and minimizing your forehead. So at first it takes a long time. It's taken me like four hours and now I can do it like under like an hour and a half. So from doing makeup videos, you transitioned into doing more wigs mm -hmm. and and now you have this thriving business. Can you talk to me a little bit about what people don't understand about wearing a wig? Sometimes people with hair loss reach out and that's always really nice when I'm able to help someone with alopecia or maybe like a cancer survivor or someone dealing with cancer. Being able to help someone out with that is always really validating and fulfilling too. A big part of my performing and my drag persona is through social media where I kind of feel like I'm like a drag stylist and I like help people figure out how to find their style, whether it's makeup or hair or costumes or anything like that. But I do perform around Connecticut at various um, gay bars, LGBT spaces. Um, I performed at Pride in the Park in Norwalk. Um, I used to do a bingo night. Um, so it really just kind of depends the time of year. Um, coming up at the end of September, there's this show called Drag Diva Brunch, and it happens around the country, and it's organized by a previous contestant from RuPaul's Drag Race. And um, they, have, they do this in like Texas and Philly, and like I think there's seven or eight other locations in the country. So they're bringing it to Connecticut, and then I'll be doing that monthly in, um, at the Toyota Oakdale Theater. So one of the best ways to get a hold of me is on Instagram. My handle is at shopwillbeauty. There you'll find links to my website, uh, shopwillbeauty.com. And Halloween's coming up, so if you need a Halloween wig or anything like that, I'd only say place your order ASAP. Coming up on Connecticut Voice Out Loud, supporting the health of a community. Meet the people of Middlesex Health's transgender medicine program and the patients they serve. Come for the sunset and stay for the sunrise. Experience the best in waterfront tranquility at Saybrook Point Inn, Marina and Spa. Enjoy water views, luxurious accommodations, and outdoor dining with a marina view. Join us on the terrace for live summer music or spend the day pampering yourself at our full service spa. Check out midweek special packages at saybrook.com and book now. Saybrook Point Inn, your place for rest and relaxation. Your seaside staycation awaits. Connecticut's newest sensation is CT Voice, giving a voice to the LGBTQ community with CT Voice magazine, digital, social, and now CT Voice Out Loud television show. This is style, hot topics, and personal stories from award-winning writers every season. Go to ctvoice.com. As Connecticut's first Mayo Clinic Care Network member, we're bringing the world's most advanced treatments, knowledge, and research much closer to home for you. Middlesex Health, the smarter choice for care. Greatest, Carrie Underwood. Live in concert, The Cry Pretty Tour. Grand Theater at Foxwoods Resort Casino, October 9th. Get tickets now at foxwoods.com or call 1 800 200 2882. The album Cry Pretty is available everywhere now in association with Kalia. At Middlesex Health, we're doing more to make healthcare better for you, with more personal attention to get you back to your best, and more of today's most innovative, life-saving treatments. We're bringing more second chances to communities throughout Central Connecticut and the Shoreline, and finding more ways to treat every member of your family like a member of ours. Together, it all adds up to the new Middlesex Health, today's smarter choice for care. Of the 1.4 million people living in the United States that identify as transgender, more than 12,000 live in Connecticut. And serving this community is something Middlesex Health takes seriously. From surgery to support, the transgender medicine program is unlike any other in the state. Much of that is due to their very specialized approach. I sat down with two people in Middletown who shared their own personal journeys within the program from inside and out. How has life been for you? Fabulous. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Gina Guman says she feels like she's been reborn after her two-year journey working closely with Middlesex Health's transgender medicine program. But this second chance, as she calls it, goes much further back. I see it as I was assigned male at birth, 
And I kind of just went along with it because that's how I was, you know, brought up and it was kind of ingrained into me. Being a woman is something she's known all her life, but getting there was no easy step. Even though I say I've been transitioning for two years, it's kind of taken me my full lifetime to get where I am because it was all inside, you know, like kind of, you know, figuring out who I was and where I wanted to go. Transitioning for Gina means more than just surgery and Middlesex has been there every step of the way. In addition to gender transitional procedures and hormone therapy, the program offers a wide array of services to over 900 people, from primary care and testing to physical rehabilitation and behavioral support. But that number is not even close to the over 12,000 people in Connecticut's transgender community that are not being served. Katie Tierney is hoping to bridge that gap. As a nurse practitioner in the endocrinology division and medical director of transgender health services at Middlesex, Tierney has a passion for the work she does. And as a member of the LGBTQ community herself, the desire to offer her knowledge and support is more than a job. And it really has been, you know, the joy of my career to be able to do it. When, I, when people ask me what I do for a living, I often say I'm a cheerleader. Things have changed dramatically in the last 10 years in terms of um, how we think about trans medicine, what services we might need to be available, and how the community really understands what transgender is. And that understanding begins within, inside these walls. Tierney says what separates Middlesex from other health organizations is not only education, but communication. In fact, everyone that works at Middlesex Health is knowledgeable on the transgender medicine program. If you have the right vocabulary and you can make a connection with somebody, all of a sudden it's a much more personal and intimate experience rather than an institution versus a patient. Monthly meetings with the 25 member committee gives Tierney and her team a chance to explore even more options. It's no easy task building the trust within the community, but it's one that is certainly a shift in the right direction. We've worked very hard over the last couple of years to identify providers who are already trained and ready to provide those services in all different departments and then offer more education to, to providers who are interested in doing that or are interested in being a champion. For people like Gina, having someone in her corner has been a big part of her success. For her, it's more than just being accepted for who she is. In her words, it's basic human rights and knowing she's not alone. What's the sense of community mean to you? We should be able to walk down the street as ourselves and not have fear. For the people who don't have confidence, it's good for them to like see these people who are loud and proud, you know, out there being their true selves. You know, like honestly, I don't think I would have known what to do or I'd, I don't know where I'd be. Um, in my transition or as, you know, where I am today, I don't think I'd be there if it weren't for Katie and Middlesex Health. Our final story takes us on a mini vacation close to home. An inside look at where to find a little R&R &R with one LGBTQ friendly inn and bed and breakfast in your own backyard. At Middlesex Health, we're doing more to make healthcare better for you with more personal attention to get you back to your best and more of today's most innovative, life-saving treatments. We're bringing more second chances to communities throughout Central Connecticut and the Shoreline, and finding more ways to treat every member of your family like a member of ours. Together, it all adds up to the new Middlesex Health, today's smarter choice for care. Foxwoods Resort, Casino. Room starting at $89. Connecticut's newest sensation is CT Voice, giving a voice to the LGBTQ community with CT Voice magazine, digital, social, and now CT Voice Out Loud television show. This is style, hot topics, and personal stories from award-winning writers every season. Go to ctvoice.com.
Come for the sunset and stay for the sunrise. Experience the best in waterfront tranquility at Saybrook Point Inn, Marina and Spa. Enjoy water views, luxurious accommodations, and outdoor dining with a marina view. Join us on the terrace for live summer music or spend the day pampering yourself at our full service spa. Check out midweek special packages at saybrook.com and book now. Saybrook Point Inn, your place for rest and relaxation. Your seaside staycation awaits. As Connecticut's first Mayo Clinic Care Network member, we're bringing the world's most advanced treatments, knowledge, and research much closer to home for you. Middlesex Health, the smarter choice for care. Let's face it, sometimes we need a vacation from a vacation when long distance travel is involved. But the benefit of a little getaway can do a lot for the mind, the body, and the spirit, especially when you pride yourself in catering to the community. Dawn Ennis takes us to two very special places that are LGBTQ friendly and ready for you to be their guest. Connecticut boasts hundreds of bed and breakfast inns, guest houses, and hotels. But how many are LGBTQ friendly? Sad to say, not as many as you might think. So I did some digging and I found some gems across the state that welcome same-sex couples and transgender travelers and anyone under the rainbow. I'm Mary Wick, the owner and innkeeper of the Westbrook Inn. And how long have you been the innkeeper here? Uh, since March this year. Why did you decide to become an innkeeper? I've always wanted to be an innkeeper. Uh, I thought I would do it in my retirement. I just love to entertain. Uh, I've always done that my whole life. I love to decorate and I like to shop. And so all those things come together uh, when you're innkeeping. And can you tell me the history of this place? So this is a house that was built in 1876. Uh, it has been a rooming house, it has been a private residence, and for 27 years it's been an inn. So we're only two blocks away from the beach. We sit on the shores of the Patchogue River and we just love to be in a coastal community. And Westbrook is a small town, it just feels so warm and welcoming and we hope that the inn does as well. A lot of LGBT couples and individual travelers are sometimes discouraged from being able to stay at a place like this because they are afraid they'll be judged or they might be even turned away. What's your response to that? I think that that's really unfortunate. We are incredibly welcoming. We have had wonderful guests um, that have already stayed with us and, and who are of the uh, LGBT community. Um, my nephew is um, part of that community and actually is doing some work for us to help us understand how we can best serve that community. So um, we hope that everybody comes and feels welcome uh, because that's who we are, just a welcoming in. I think that what I'm most proud of is how we've been able to keep a vintage feel but incorporate modern conveniences and comforts. So making sure that we have high-speed internet, um, making sure that our linens are new and everybody loves them, they're so comfortable. We even have a bed that has uh, an adjustable bed frame. So the feet and the head go up and uh, it has a, a memory foam mattress. So just making it very comfortable, keeping it quaint, but then also making sure that folks can have all of their conveniences. You gotta tell me about that bathtub. Oh, I know. Isn't that great? And it's like the whole, not just the bathtub, but the whole room feels spa-like when you go in there, the whole bathroom. It's a lovely place to soak and look out the window, enjoy the property as well as, you know, just relax a little bit. I think that the concept of that you are in a, a dusty grandma's place is what we're looking to dispel. We have kayaks and people can take the kayaks out on the river. We have bikes for people to tour around town. We have many spaces for people to find privacy, uh, even when they're here with other guests. And, uh, and hopefully they feel like family. That's our motto. We want them to enter as guests and leave as friends. And we even welcome the four-legged friends. So we have two rooms that we encourage guests to bring their pets and they deserve vacation too. If historic homes aren't your style but you want to avoid run-of-the-mill, how about bedding down in a boutique? We're talking upscale LGBTQ friendly like the centrally located inn in Middletown. 
I knew the former general manager of this property, and when uh, he said he was moving on, uh, he thought I'd be a perfect fit, and I met with ownership. And yeah, it's 10 minutes door to door. I live in Rocky Hill, so it's uh, like my, my home. Tell me why LGBTQ travelers visit your inn. It's the staff. It's all about the staff. Um, if you look at our TripAdvisor uh, ratings and you take the time to read the reviews, the, the beds are nice, the, the ambiance is beautiful, but it's the staff and the, the genuineness of the staff and the way that they, they treat every single guest that comes through the doors. So you would say that this is an inn where people who are under the rainbow would be feeling welcome and uh, Absol absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I don't think we look at it as the rainbow. We look at it as just another guest coming to the inn at Middletown. There are some places that actually turn away guests in this day and age of 2019 because they're same-sex couples or transgender. What do you think about that? I think that's awful. I think that's awful. I mean, you know, it, it's it's something that uh, is part of what we are now as a as a country, and and I just think it it should be accepted, you know. And I think the things that we've recently done in the downtown area, uh, hosting our first parade uh, this year, and I know that we're up doing it again next year, uh, kind of tells you the way we feel as a community about this. One of the things we tried to accomplish was. When we renovated the hotel two years ago, we wanted to keep this New England charm, but we wanted to give the guests the modern amenities they're used to when they travel. So, you know, a lot of the suites have wet bars, refrigerators in them, uh, you know, the sh uh, spacious showers, Speakman dual shower heads, uh, you know, but just really making it, you know, as if you were to go to a branded hotel, everything that you would expect there, you would get that at the Inn at Middletown. In Middletown, I'm Dawn Ennis for Connecticut Voice Out Loud. That's all the time we have for Connecticut Voice Out Loud. To find out more about the stories we've shared or if you have one of your own, let us know. Just visit us online at ctvoice.com and be sure to connect with us on social media. We look forward to sharing more stories on the community we not only support, but are proud to serve. I'm Hilary Russo. We'll see you next time. As Connecticut's first Mayo Clinic Care Network member, we're bringing the world's most advanced treatments, knowledge, and research much closer to home for you. Middlesex Health, the smarter choice for care. Country's greatest, Carrie Underwood. Live in concert, the Cry Pretty Tour. Grand Theater at Foxwoods Resort Casino, October 9th. Get tickets now at foxwoods.com or call 1-800-200-2882. The album Cry Pretty is available everywhere now in association with Kalia.